In 2015, I realized that 10 bottles of botulinum toxin in the stock would be expired soon. So I had to do something with this medicine. I decided to use the botulinum toxin to relieve chronic pain. Hello, I'm Dr. Lee. Welcome to Practical Pain Management. I will talk about my clinical experience of botulinum toxin A. During seven months, I administered the drug to 13 patients. They had pains in the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and ankle. I diluted the botulinum toxin A into two different concentrations either 50 units in 1 ml or 10 units in 1 ml cell line. Currently, I am diluting it either 50 units in 1 ml or 20 units in 1 ml dextrose solution. I will introduce you to a few cases. He had intractable right shoulder pain for two years. He was listed as my regular visitor. Ultrasound image showed focal expansion of the spiraspinatus tendon because of tendinosis and intrasubstance tear. I believe that buckling, delamination, and detachment of intrasubstance tone fibers frequently occurred during shoulder movement in this type of pathology. Because I believe that the intrasubstance tear could be the direct cause of the pain, I put 50 unit botulinum toxin in the tone area. The results were remarkable. It was better than I expected. The second case is my father, and he had worked so hard as a long farmer. I knew he had wear and tone his subscapular tendon. He was strong and rarely complained about his shoulder pain before the terrible motorcycle accident. The MRI